How's it going everyone? My name is Tyler and in today's video I'm going to be teaching you guys how to create a 5M server. This is an updated uh, tutorial uh, from the one that I did maybe a couple of years back. Um, I'm just going to be teaching you guys how to make it completely. This is not an ESX framework. There is no ESX going to be added in today. That's going to be for a separate video. So uh, let's get straight into it. So what you guys are going to do first is create a file under desktop or you could do it in your, you can just go ahead and go to file explorer, go to this PC, go ahead and go to your windows and right click hit new folder and then create it to whatever you want. I'm just going to be making it a desktop to be easier uh, and then you can just drag the folder from the desktop into your, this PC directory. I already have a server on here. Uh, this is an older one. <laughs> you could, there is no FX server on here or anything. So uh, yeah, I still use the run server dot bat. It's, it still works, but let's go ahead and get right into the video. So I'll go ahead and right click on your desktop, click new, and then folder. And here you're gonna go ahead and just name the folder or the the folder to whatever you want. Just make sure there's no spaces or no of those special characters. I'm just gonna be naming mine test for the video. And just once you go ahead and make that folder on your desktop, you're going to go ahead and go to your file, or not your file, sorry, your internet browser, whatever you choose. I use Google Chrome. So what you're going to do is uh, just go ahead and create, or I don't know what I'm saying. Go ahead and go to the first link in the description. It's going to be the 5M docs, the native reference, uh, how to set up a 5M server. We're not going to be going off of this. There's some things in here that... I don't like and I think it would just make it 10 times easier for you uh, we're also gonna be I'm gonna be setting up TX admin it's gonna make sure it's gonna run your game a lot easier off of your internet browser in your VPS um, I'm not doing this on the VPS I'm doing this on my home computer this is what a server looks like on a VPS um, it's just you know it's basically the same thing just on a VPS and you can do this on a VPS as well Alrighty, so first what you're going to go, go ahead and do is go to your 5M server artifacts. So to do that, go to the first link in the description and go to down here to where you see the artifacts server. I'll go ahead and leave this in the description, this one right here. So go ahead and instead of clicking latest recommended, sometimes it has an issue. What you're going to do is click on this little blue download right here next to the, that's the latest recommended, but it's also an updated one. So uh, go ahead and click right here, and once it goes download, in the bottom left it should say server.7zip. Um, this is going to be downloading in a zip folder. I'm going to leave another link in the description to something called WinRAR. It is a free uh, unzipper for folders. Uh, it's 10 times easier in my opinion. Um, I'm also going to go ahead and leave a VS Code link in the description. Go ahead and download that. It's really, really easy to code with it. So. Uh, Go ahead and open up the folder that you just downloaded. Uh, you can go ahead and minimize your internet browser right now. So you're going to see this. This is just just basically a uh, just all the server artifacts that you're going to go ahead and need. Go ahead and copy everything in this folder. Oh crap! Hold on. Go ahead and copy everything in this folder. And once you go ahead and do that drag all this content from this into your ser the server on your desktop. On the bottom it should say done. We're going to go ahead and minimize that. You're going to open up your test folder and see that is all in there. Next what you're going to go ahead and do is go to the second link in the description. It's going to be something called CFX Server Data Master. It is a GitHub page. It looks just like this. It should say Citizen FX, CFX Server Data Master. Go ahead and click on this green code button that says download and then hit download zip. And then again, there's going to be a little 7 zip folder in the bottom left. Go ahead and open that. Go ahead and minimize your internet browser. And you can close out any of the pop ups. It is free. Just don't click on any of the pay now because it might give you virus. That's only if you click the pay. I've been using this for years. I have no problems. You're going to see a serv CFX server data master folder in, this, in the file we just downloaded. Go ahead and drag that folder into your server folder. And then we're going to go ahead and do control R and close the folder and then open it back up. And you should see the CFX server data master at the top of the server. 
Now, once you're in here, go ahead and open up the CFX Server Data Master. Go ahead and right click down here. Actually, before you do that, go ahead and click on View up here, and then make sure File Name Extensions is on. It's going to make your life 10 times easier when you're making servers and just helping out with that stuff. So, go ahead and right click in the CFX Server Data Master folder in your server, hit New, Text Document, and you're going to name this Server dot cfg so it looks just like this and it's gonna say if you change the file name extension the file might become unusable are you sure you want to change it yes so now that it is a cfg folder we're gonna go ahead and uh, right click on this and I'm gonna hit open with and I'm gonna go ahead and click on Visual Studio Code because I already have it downloaded like I said it's gonna be in the link in the description it's gonna be an empty text document uh, it looks just like this. Make sure your view file name extensions on, but so you can see it as a CFG folder file. Uh, once you have it open, go ahead and go back to your internet browser and go back to the setting up a server. So once you can go ahead and scroll down here, you're gonna scroll all the way down till you see this little guy right here. To do that, go ahead and copy everything in the server CFG thing. Go ahead and make sure once everything is all blue and you can see it. Go ahead and right click on it and hit copy or you can do control C if it's easier. Go ahead and minimize your internet browser and paste it, paste everything you just copied into the server CFG. Alrighty, so once we have gotten the server CFG contents in the actual server CFG file, we're going to go ahead and close out of this for right now. We'll edit that in a minute. Actually, we're going to edit that right now. So just go ahead and open it back up. I'm going to open it with Visual Studio Code. And then go ahead and just stay in this right now. And then this is going to be a little updated uh, if you were using the old version that I gave to you guys. Um, but this is just going to make it 10 times easier. I'm going to go ahead and do the config and teach you guys everything, every little thing that's in here. Uh, and just teach you how to use it. So, the endpoint, add, TCP, and UDP, those are your ports. I would, I'm, I suggest to keep those the same as 30120. So when you're port forwarding, I think I already made a video about that. If I didn't, I will here soon. Um, how to port forward, you just enter this port into the, make sure that it's this port, 30120 is default. If you change it to like 43296, and make sure you put that into your port forwarding thing as well when I teach you guys how to do that. Um, but I would keep this the same, 30120 is the default port for uh, internet and stuff like that for people to join. If there's changed, there might be some issues with some people that are running older type of gaming top software. Um, just make sure you keep that the same. I would, I've always been keeping it the same because it's easier. Um, so once you're done with that, don't change anything. This is the resource that will start up on default. Sometimes it will say ensure, sometimes it will say start. If you have Visual Studio Code, all you gotta do is click on one of the insurers, change all occurrences, and then backspace and type start. Start is easier instead of typing insure the whole time. Um, and that's just kind of keep it more organized if you have it start. Uh, once you go ahead and do that, hit control S to save it. We're gonna go ahead and go down to the tags. You can set whatever you want if you have an ESX server. You can set it to ESX uh, role play cars whatever you want basically. So then those will be your tags um, when people can just find your server easier. The server archon password you can have it, but if you're going to be doing ESX frameworks, you are going to want to set it. To do that, all you got to do is just type in there whatever you want. Uh, just make sure that you hit this little little green uh, hashtag to cancel it to make sure it runs the code. I'm not going to have an Archon password because I don't want it right now. Um, but you can add, add it if you want. You might have to add it later on. You never know. Alright, so now the root, this is sets the local. So basically it's the primary language that people are going to see your server on. So it says root aq, this is just the default. If you are an English server, you're going to do en, oops, en dash us. And it says up here as well. This is uh, Great Britain, uh, all that stuff. France, um, French, and stuff like that. 
you can put over whatever you want, whatever language you're in, but I just put mine as English United States because we are English United States. That's what I'm in. Okay, and the banner detail and banner connecting, I'm not going to teach you guys how to do that today. It's going to be a separate video. Uh, it just basically shows the banner when you're loading into the server and just makes it a little more customizable. This is your server. SV underscore means server, so server host name, FX server, but unconfigured. You want to change this to whatever you want. So I'm going to go ahead and change this to my test server. I don't know. And then this is that's the server name that's going to pop up in 5M. So make sure you keep that whatever you want. You can keep the server project name to whatever you want. And then the project the project description is you can keep that. It doesn't matter. Uh, again, the loading the server icon and some of the server the server internal CFGs. I'm not going to change anything. That's the server icon is going to be a separate video. Uh, these you're not going to change until you want to add like uh, V menu or uh, any anything ESX that requires an admin. Um, and then go ahead and go down one sync. You can keep that the same. Max clients is 48. Uh, if you have, I'm pretty sure if it's platinum or argumentum on Patreon for 5M, you can have up to 300. I'm pretty sure. Don't correct me on it or correct me on it. Um, but I'm just going to keep that 48 just because uh, your Steam Web API key, you can have it to whatever you want. Your stub, your your Steam Community Dev API key is basically going to be the owner's key. Put it in there. And then the SV license key. This is just, um, you are going to need this. I'm going to put a link in the description to a 5M Key Master link. Just go ahead and sign up for it and make your account. And then you're going to see this. You're going to go ahead and click register up here. Mine doesn't say it right now. Click register. You're going to put the name of it in there, the IP, uh, dedicated server, and then whatever server provider you use. Um, and then you're going to make the key. If you, you guys can try to use this key, I'm going to deactivate it after the video so there's no way you guys can use this. And if you want a free key, boom, you're not going to be able to use it though. So go ahead and copy the key that you've just made. And you want to minimize your internet browser and put the key where it says change me. And then, boom. So you have your key in there and it's 100% going to load up. So your server CFG is now complete. So now let's go ahead and set up TX admin and let's, that's going to be the last part. So you can go ahead and close out of the server CFG text document. We're going to go over to back to our initial server. This is basically the server files, and you're going to see a little thing at the bottom that says fxserver.exe. This is the application to actually start your 5M server. So just go ahead and double click on that. Um, you can go ahead and close out of that. And then it's going to automatically open up your internet browser to a TX admin page. And then this is, there's going to be a little pin in there, or this is the link you could use. This is the pin that I'm using right now. This is just a test server. Again, you guys can try to use it. It doesn't matter. It's not even port forward. It's not so you guys are going to try it. But the key should already autofill. And then once you want to put the key in there, go ahead and click link account. Once you go ahead and link the account, you can go ahead and hit continue and log into your cfx.re account. And then I'm just going to go ahead and make the backup password to like... Um, whatever you want. So it's just a thing to help you just in case you get logged out. Go ahead and hit click save. So now we are able to set up your 5M server. You can go ahead and click next on here. And then you can actually just make this. This is another server name. It might change it. You guys change it again in the server CFG folder. I'm just going to type test server. And then that's the name of the server. Next. So you could do go ahead and do popular template. This is for only ESX. I wouldn't do that. I'm going to go ahead and do local server data. That's just going to make it 10 times easier uh, since we already have the CFX server data master folder in the 5M server. Um, so now once you are on the local server data and you go ahead and click the local server data option, you're going to go ahead and go back up to your server. And at the top, you're going to see a little browser icon. So go ahead and click click on it once and it should copy it. And you're going to control C or copy. And then you're going to go ahead and open up your internet browser again and paste it back into this little thing right here. This is just saying, hey, this is where my server is. 
Oh, okay, my bad. Instead of doing that, you have to go back to your server data folder and then click on it, copy it, and then go back in here, boom, server data master. Next. Now, once you click next, it's gonna say, it's basically gonna be the same thing. But instead of, you can paste the same thing, but make sure you do a forward slash and do server, whoops, dot CFG. And then it basically says, hey, there's the, this is where the server CFG is. It's just, it, it's just a path to select your server data folder. And once you go and do that, you can finish, boom, you can run this pub profile by executing users, start not bad, whatever. Boom, we just started up the server. Server is now started up, and you can actually look at it. Um, there might be some yarn fails, that's completely fine. You can go and open up your internet browser to back to TX Admin. Uh, this is where you can monitor players. Uh, oh shoot, oh, there we go. Whew. Hey, we're good. Um, you can go ahead and go to your CFG, and you can just browse through there, restart resources and stuff like that. Alrighty guys, that's how you complete a 5M server. Again, if you want to add resources, just go into the resources folder, you know, and just paste whatever you want. Yeah, they, there's a couple server or a couple resources, and uh, you can do that. Those will just be the resources folders. Make sure you start them in the server CFG. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for you guys. Appreciate you guys watching so much. If you do enjoy the content, please drop a like and subscribe. I'm going to be making a couple more videos on how to develop and make a 5M server better for your community and how to grow a 5M server off of nothing. So if you guys do enjoy the video, please drop a like and subscribe to my channel for more of these awesome videos. So guys, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you all later. Peace.